Hello, everyone. Today, our team will give you some introduction about Send Mobile software and hardware integrated portable cloud platform test system. Uh, our team, uh, Zhiqiang Yu, Zhang Xiaoguang, and Ma, Ma Qifen, and uh, Zhang Jiaqiang will give you some this introduction. This is our team. We are from CMCC. And our team is dedicated to support large-scale CMCC cloud network construction. Uh, then um, Yu Zhiqiang uh, will give you some introduction about our team. OK. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, we are from China Mobile. And Xiaoguang Zhang work as a cloud architecture in China Mobile Research and the development institute. Now is the team leader of our technical cloud integration team. Jia Chang works in China Mobile Research Institute focusing on automated tools development. Also participated in some open source projects like CNTT's RI and RC. Qi Feng is all also from our technical integrated team. He has many years in our team working on NFA cloud hardware integration works. I am the open source program manager from China Mobile. I'm re responsible for open source strategies and project management. Now, let Xiaoguang introduce the first part of our topic. Uh, okay, uh, our cloud resource pool uh, have a great uh, challenge to the traditional integration. Uh, because as you know, China Mobile, China Mobile has completed uh, several phases of private cloud and the telecom cloud construction. The telecom cloud has been constructed with a scale of tens of thousands of servers. Uh, as you see, uh, the balancer um, as below. Uh, at the left, it is the cloud. Cloud has the features about the server color quantity is great, and the render quantity is also great. And uh, so, the, uh, that means it have the large scale multi vendor. But uh, at uh, the right side, it is the uh, some tools, uh, as you know, the traditional integration, that means the long uh, cycle, more errors, uh, the process impacted, the temporary, uh, temporary side communication, and the manual, configura manual configuration and the manual sampling. That means uh, the tools uh, is, uh, <coughs> mm, is not very good for our integration. So this is our, uh, so we will face great challenges during our integration work. Here's uh, about some detailed information about uh, our integration constructions. Uh, first one is the more vendors uh, for the integration more, uh, <coughs> will lead to the integration more difficulty. Uh, in this in the, in this problem, there uh, there are some uh, uh, there there are several sub problem. First one is lack of unified integration steps, and the integration information uh, barriers, and the integrator have weak control over multi manufacturers, and the, the two is the large scale of integration uh, inefficient. Uh, there are also some sub sub problem. The first one is uh, layer decoupling requires inspection layer by layer. Second one is lack of automation, and then lack of fine-grained process control. Last one is difficult to maintain and clean a large amount of data. All these sub problems will result in uh, the three points. One is standard operation procedure. 
The second one is standard data. The third one is two automation. All of this, all of these three points will lead to the, our auto solutions. Uh, that means we will use our auto solutions to deal with all these problems. So next uh, slide, uh, my colleague Qi uh, Feng will give you some detailed information about our auto solutions. Hello, everyone. So what can auto solutions do? Auto is the name of China Mobile Automatic Integration Tool. It is with the ability of the automation from the design, integration, test, and the acceptance of the resource pool. We use the tool to continuously improve the level of automation. And we divide integration into hardware and software. In the hardware stage, uh, when the equipment arrive, arrived, we will use the automatic tool auto to do the automatic data, automatic configuration and test. Also, we will do the, some, uh, some automatic analysis of the test result until the delivery and acceptance will be satisfied by the demand side. And also the software integration will be used and uh, will be, will be uh, used by the uh, auto uh, in all the process. So we satisfy with the auto, but we also face the new challenges in the use of the auto. The first challenge is on-site auto deployment cost. The integration is a lot of site operation, high labor cost and low efficiency. So a remote automatic integration is needed to deploy test software upgrade. And the second challenge is more cloud resource pools means more repetitive operations. And we all know the cloud integration involves many components, vendors and heavy workloads. And when the size increase, the deployment and the, impl and the, impl and the, and the implementation will be repetitive. And so we proposed a pre-installed software and hardware integrated in a delivery mode. It is called Software, hardware, software and hardware integrated portable cloud platform test system. And the system architecture includes hardware and software. And we simplified uh, uh, describe, uh, describe the three steps about this. Uh, the first step is install the OS based on the hardware and uh, the hardware need to be have a wireless or Wi-Fi plugin. And the second step is deploy the auto based on the OS and the, the, and the operation system need to configure some network or wireless configuration to remote the service from another region. And, the, and when we will use the auto to provide services to others. And first, and then the first thing is we will uh, select a hardware to expect our requirement. According to the requirement of cloud resource pools, for skill, easy reuse or remote control, the following description will be required. Uh, the first one is size requirement. It is not only should be easy to carry, but also 
dust proof and shock proof. It should be into it should be installed in any position. And the second requirement is high performance requirements, such as CPU. Um, a high performance computing requirements is needed in the large scale of the resource pool. And it will be required a computing power at any time. Also, the high re re uh, reliability and the safety, easy to employ, easy to expand, expand is needed. Based on the above requirements, we select several manufacturers of the similar equipment, equipment to evaluate, and we finally choose the one of them. When we done the hardware evaluate, uh, we will consider the remote connection. In order to do the remote testing, patching, troubleshooting operation, the remote connection must be um, reliable and uh, have secure and and secure enough and implied enough batteries, uh, such as uh, supply of secure tunnels between the local servers and uh, the public internet, uh, two-way transmission for interaction, wrong and uh, access services from anywhere we can work, stable uh, addresses and uh, supply a remote turn on or turn off operation. Uh, based on the above description, we also, several, uh, we also evaluate uh, several solutions such as FRP, uh, desktop sharing, and uh, VPN apps. We also uh, select a uh, satisfied journal to use. When we done both uh, hardware and the remote connection, our portable deal solution is qualified. And so as the portable deal connection to the pool, it will work. Um, and uh, uh, we can connect uh, the portable deal from different resource pools remotely from the integration lab. Then we can do the one link trigger testing and then collecting some testing result and report. Based on the testing result and report, we can do the re rectify and reform problems. So it not only can reduce the problem and uh, the deployment time, but also can improve the efficiency of the integration. And the port body can be reused from one port to another. Okay, I will talk to you about before that, uh, I'd like to the um, voice is not clear. Jiatian. Uh, it's better. Okay. So I will continue. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, biggest change is uh, as our portable devices can act as an uh, operating center. As you can see, our devices is doing all of the initial bootstrap work for all of the devices in the resources pool, including the UR, UR switches, setup, VLAN, 
and uh, assigning all the outbound uh, IP addresses. Uh, also, we doing the uh, PXE booting for the servers. Uh, we have all of the serial numbers for all the devices in the resources for. We have uh, all of the MAC addresses. We have already verified uh, tens of thousands of wired connections between the switches and the server. Uh, switches and switches. Uh, so, as you can see, not only our portable devices uh, reduce a huge amount of work for the integration, but also we collect a lot of inf useful information within our application. Um, all of those information is valid and uh, correct. Uh, so, the local engineers can ask. Uh, whatever um, information they want for the devices in the resources for. Um, so uh, this is uh, what, mean, what I mean by uh, operating center. We have uh, the validated information and the network out of date. The second biggest change is uh, our portable devices is introduce the wireless uh, working models. Uh, traditionally, engineer have to present, uh, physically present uh, in front of the rack of the devices to do most of the op operation and the maintenance work and endure the tough working environment in the lab. I think anyone uh, who previously worked in the lab know what I'm talking about. Uh, thinking about all of the noises uh, from the server switches and uh, air condition. So currently um, with the Wi-Fi coverage, uh, the engineer don't have to enter into the lab at all. Uh, they can get rid of the fabric Ethernet uh, converters, get off, uh, get get rid of the, all of the wires uh, lines in most of the scenarios. Uh, and uh, also in some really complex uh, uh, scenario, we can ask the uh, the remote expert. Uh, to provide help from thousands of miles away with the uh, LTE connections. So we would like to do more things about uh, the wireless connection. Um, we want to send the integration progress and the test results to the CMCC centralized server. Um, so we can easily monitor the, uh, the integration progress and the identical uh, identified uh, the similar issues happened across the uh, multiple source across the country and uh, solved uh, the same problems with uh, um, quickly. Uh, that's one thing we want to do. And uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, using uh, the popular provisioning and the configuration management and application development tools like Kickstart. Uh, for the OS uh, deployment, Ansible for the application uh, deployment for uh, portable devices. Uh, so we can make them ready extremely fast, reliable, and uh, consistent. Next slide. Yes, we are also um, looking for some industrial cooperation. We're looking for more vendors to provide such devices. Um, which can meet the following requirements. Uh, so the physical size should be small enough to carry. Uh, and also it should provide the compute and the network capacities. Uh, we're also asking for the get rails, uh, which can fit into the standard rack. Uh, even better, it could have some travel uh, suitcase to put all of the devices and uh, the cables uh, in, into, into such suitcases uh, for easy traveling. And uh, we have um, looking for the better, uh, easy and secured uh, Wi-Fi and LTE administration. Uh, we want uh, the smart antenna design for the better signal strength, to get better signal strength. Also, it should uh, support uh, the Euro power model in the lab 
for AC, uh, for both AC and DC. Um, also, we want to do some uh, I think technical requirements standardization. Uh, I think our devices is very useful for the X scenarios. The, uh, our portable devices can be used for the software integration, development, deployment, and as well as the system test, upgrading and uh, operating. So um, uh, it can uh, enhance the edge architecture. Um, also for the device itself, uh, we were looking for some technical requirement definition involve, uh, involving more uh, open source community uh, to work together to improve such devices to work better in the uh, integration scenario and edge scenario. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's all our detailed uh, introduction about our solutions. Uh, we want you work together with us to do such kind of work to improve the software and hardware integrated uh, devices uh, uh, to have the more application and more deployment in your site and in your um, scenarios. Uh, thank you very much. Any questions from you?